Hello viewers, welcome back. In our today's video, we will discuss about the effects of electric current on human body in case of an electric shock. These effects of electric current on human body depends on many factors, such as the environmental conditions, which can either be dry or wet, the type of current, AC or DC, passing through the body, and more important, the psychological characteristic of the person. Since our topic is directly related to the safety of the people, Therefore, our discussion will be in line with the IEC 60479-1, which is a standard for Effects of Current on Human Beings and Livestock. Hope that you are going to enjoy our discussion. An electric shock is the passage of electric current through a human body. This can happen because human body is a good conductor of electricity due to the presence of different ions, such as sodium ion, potassium ion and the calcium ion. The most common reasons for a person to get an electric shock are faulty electrical appliances and the electrical cables or wires with damaged insulation. Therefore, we can say that person can be subjected to an electric shock in two manners. One is called the direct contact and other is called the indirect contact. Direct contact happens when a person touches a bare life conductor and electric current passes through the body as shown here in the picture. Indirect contact happens when a person touches an electrical machine or device with an insulation fault and the leakage current passes through the human body. The electric current passing through the human body is governed by the Ohm's law which is voltage equals to current times resistance. Our target is to find the magnitude of current passing through the human body as the danger to person subjected to an electric shock is mainly dependent on the magnitude and duration of the current flow. For a human body subjected to an electric shock, the voltage is called the touch voltage, which is the voltage between the body part touching the energized object and the part touching the ground, as shown in the picture here. As per IEC 60479-1, touch voltage is considered from 25 volt till 1000 volt and can be both AC or DC. The body impedance as per IEC 60479-1 depends on many factors, most important on current path and the duration of the current flows through the body as shown in the picture here. Other factors are the surface area of contact with life or faulty parts, degree of moisture of the skin, touch voltage including its magnitude and the type AC or DC. Other factors are frequency, pressure exerted and the temperature. Since the accidents with DC voltages are much less frequent as compared to the AC voltages. Therefore, for our further discussion and for the calculation of touch current, we will focus on AC voltages with 50 or 60 Hz frequency. IEC 60479-1 defines the value of total body impedance under Table 1 to Table 9. These values are defined for AC voltages with 50 or 60 Hz frequency. In order to develop our further understanding that how body impedance changes with surface area of contact and degree of moisture, we have made a comparison here. It is important to note that we have considered the touch voltage of 100 volt AC for this comparison and frequency is 50 or 60 Hz. We can see from this comparison that body impedance decreases with the increase of moisture content. Similarly, body impedance is more with the smaller contact surfaces and gets lesser with the increase of contact surface. Since the main aim of our discussion is to find the danger that an electric current can cause to a human body, therefore, now we will calculate the value of electric current passing through a human body under different conditions. For the comparison purpose, in our calculation, surface area is variable and other factors such as touch voltage is constant at 100 volt AC and degree of moisture is constant at wet water condition. From calculation, we can see that for medium surface area, the touch current is found to be 20.6 mA and for small surface area, it is 3.34 mA. This comparison shows that if the contact with the light surface is medium, 
more current will flow through the body as compared to the interaction when surface area is small. As we have discussed earlier that the danger to a person from an electric current mainly depends on the magnitude and the duration of the current passing through the body. The time current zone chart in IEC 60479-1 sums up the effects of electric current on human body. It indicates the effects of AC current flowing through the human body from left hand to the feet. All these effects on human body are highly dependent on current magnitude and its duration. From the chart, you can see that for the same amount of current, the zone changes with the increase in time duration, meaning that effects of flow of current through the human body becomes worse with the increase in time duration. The chart is divided into four zones, namely AC1, AC2, AC3 and AC4. For zone AC2, there may be involuntary muscular contraction but usually no harmful electrical physiological effects. For zone AC3, strong involuntary muscular contraction, difficulty in breathing, reversible disturbances of heart function, immobilization may occur. Effects increase with increase of current magnitude. For zone AC4, effects may occur such as cardiac arrest, breathing arrest, burns or other cellular damages. So this is the end of our today's video. I hope it will help you to develop the understanding about the topic. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Please give suggestions for improvement in the comments box. Please also let me know if you need information about any other topic. I will try to cover it in my next vlogs. Please subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get updates about the latest videos. Thank you.